Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Happy Travellers Vlog. We are in recovery mode from the weekend. As you know, yesterday's video was the non-vlog, but we've travelled today from Cheltenham all the way down to Leatherhead in Surrey. We did it in one go, we didn't stop on the way, but we did have our little coffee cups uh, to keep us company and have a little drink on the way. I thought today, because we had such a, such a journey and meeting up with family, I thought today what we would do is just talk about somebody else. Me. And, <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to maybe make up some questions. This is all not planned. A little bit of last minute. Um, so, Jill and Dave, my sister and brother-in-law, have a motorhome. It is a swift... Contiki. Contiki. Um, similar to Ed's swift escape. Yeah. Um, well, we don't escape, the... <laughs> We just Contiki. Yeah. So, what is it? What? Well, Jill changed from a caravan to a motorhome. Mm. Tell us why you did that. Well, it was the... We started off in a motorhome. You did. We had the big RV at first, which, which was, you know, that, that's what we run around in first. The American RV? Yeah. Well, well, it was about 14, 15 years ago we, we started well, in the RV. Okay, well, what... That's interesting because I think the, the mm. differences in motorhomes are quite interesting. But what was it about the RV? The American term for motorhome is an RV, recreational vehicle. Mm. But what was it about that that, that made you well, go, we, for, go for an RV rather mm. than a UK motorhome? Well, because, because David had uh, um, HGV heavy goods class one oh, okay. and he was in, interested in it yeah. I I didn't know I just followed I just followed what he he said so we went in for it we bought that sold that and, and bought a, um, a house um, not uh, you know it was well, a, how long did you have your first RV um, we had that for about nine months oh Nine months, so yeah. Really it wasn't, short time. Yeah, it wasn't a very long time. Hmm. Um, and I might, I'm, I might say that um, the reason I wanted to get rid of it was because, and this is very important, um, we, we had a, a situation where we were gassed in, on the um, French border, uh, French Spanish oh, border. Right, yeah. So I didn't particularly want to do that anymore. You did. You weren't. I felt. I, I felt very felt vulnerable. Quite vulnerable yeah. 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 So we were quite happy to use our car to go down and uh, have. So let that be a warning to everybody. Yeah. Anyone can get. Thanks. Gas. Thanks for telling me that. Just yeah. before we're about. To yeah. Settle. Exactly. Yeah. You've got to be very careful where you park. You must. You must park in the right. In yeah. the right places. Um, um, anyway, we we done that. We we ended up, you know, we've been caravan, motorhome, caravan, motorhome, house, caravan, motorhome, um, and we've ended up with with um, because we we wanted to um, have a caravan, a, a, a motorhome as opposed to a caravan, which is like static. Um, so we, we decided that we would have, we had some surplus money, so we decided that we would have a smaller motorhome, not, not the big ones that, you know, everybody was interested in. We, no, yeah, so, so mm -hmm. one of the things, um, as you get older, you'll yeah. know, yeah. and this is something that is, um, in my mind, mm. you know, I'm 62 next birthday, yeah. and, you know, we we sort of thought that we would have this. I I, I was looking at yeah, yeah I was looking at yours today and I thought to myself well yours isn't that big. 
that. It isn't, yeah. no. but it's bigger it's than... It's bigger than ours. It's bigger than... than it's all about licensing, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. And, and it's, about the, it's about the UK driving mm. licence. Yeah. So... So we couldn't have a... No, a beca- one. because although Dave is a fully qualified HGV what class one mm-hmm. driver, driven big trucks forever. Yeah. Um, because he has a, a little um, heart monitor defibrillator yeah. Yeah. thing going on. An ICD, they call it. Yeah. But, yeah. So less likely to have a heart attack than me, mm-hmm. actually, yeah. given my age his age and yeah. the thing he's not allowed to drive my my motor mm. it, it 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 feels to me a bit crazy it do, yeah but that those dems the rules mm. right? and you have to follow them. so you know you're only allowed to have up to three and a half ton yeah um not not the extra one and a half to take up to five ton but, but then, of course, I could, I could drive a seven and a half ton. Yes. Because, yes, because I've got the yeah. license to do that. Because the limit, if you pass your mm. driving test before yeah. ninety seven, mm. before January first, ninety seven, yeah. you you were free and clear mm-hmm. to drive almost anything you wanted. Yeah. And then they've started to bring in these new mm. rules the and new make rules. people take tests. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. you know, so fair, fair enough, mm. you know, um, that, that's just it. So tell us a bit about the Swift Contiki yeah. so that we, you have now. Yeah, we, and, we did and, think yeah. that, um, you know, I, I'm not keen of, of driving big vehicles, you know, since yeah. I've been older. So we decided that we would go for the Swift Contiki, three and a half ton, it suits David, it suits me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the area inside is, is um, just what we... Tell us about the config. Well, we've got at, the... At the, at the back. Mm-hmm, we've got the two beds at the back that would go down to um, settees so we could have, like, so, a dining area. So it's a rear lounge. Mm, a rear, rear lounge. We've got a TV in there. Yeah. Um, David's very good at fitting things, so we we've got um, we've got the rear lounge that we we actually use as the um, the uh, twin beds. The permanent bedroom, isn't yeah, it? Really? Yeah. So we that's then, what we do. And then and then you come forward, and we've got the the loo with the shower. Toilet shower. Oh, which that, which that's all in is, one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 But we can pull the the um, shower um, door round so that you, you it's an enclosed shower, which suits us. It works. Um, and then across the way from there, we've got like a. Um, uh, a cupboard but, where we could we put all we, our hoover that, stuff isn't, I think I think mm. I'm right in saying that that's probably designed for a wardrobe isn't it? yes yeah. yes but we, but it's we a, don't it's a, it's a super storage mm. cupboard isn't it yeah, yeah but we don't necessarily use it as a wardrobe although no. we can do yeah. we don't so we put all, all other stuff it, in because you're not you're not permanently in it. You're, no. you're using it for weekends. That's or right. Yeah, we again. don't. We're not. We're not yeah. like Steve and Wendy. We we only use it on occasion. Yeah, it's, it's a holiday vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. So then we come down to an area. Uh, it, it's like the kitchen area, the kitchen diner, mm. um, which is very nice. We we've got um, uh, probably, I think you could probably get about five people round. Um, the it's it's an L shape, isn't it? Mm, You've got yeah. the sort of L shape. L shape. It's, it's not it's not the classic with, no. dinette no. as you would see. No. But it's an L shape lounge area. Mm. And two seats a, have got the the with the seat belts. Seat belts, yeah. yeah. But you've got the L shaped lounge mm. area and the kitchen opposite. Yeah. You? Yeah. So, so that's quite a nice. Yeah. And we've got we've got the. Um, uh, the microwave at the top. I, We've got I, a lovely. I always think hmm. um, when I'm when I'm in your van. Yeah. I always think <laughs> you always find me in the kitchen at parties. Yeah, absolutely. That song yeah. always comes to my mind. 
because yeah. it's it's the seating area mm. and the kitchen area and it's, and, and, and then you've and got the cab. And of course we've got the two cab, the cab chairs seats. that we can yeah. spin and around. It, and yeah. that, that song always comes from my mind. Yeah. It's like you always find me in the yeah. kitchen at party. But we, we've and also got that, that table mm. that we can put up. Yeah. And we've also mm. got a um, uh, like a, a, a table that you put the leg in the floor and you've got like a round table but mm. you know we can we can mm. sort of utilize that yeah um so there's quite a bit of seating area there there is so we're quite yeah. we're quite happy yeah, with that yeah. so what's it like um because you've got you've got three jack russell dogs. yes we have yeah so what's it like mm. going away for a weekend okay um well it's it's quite good because we we've, we've got um like a, a a bed that we can put two of the jack russells in one jack russell our, our older jack russell lana he'll he'll just lay on the floor yeah he's quite yeah. Um, he's a he's pretty mellow isn't yeah he, he is he's very right. mellow he's a, yeah he's an old gentleman yes he is yeah. and we put the other two in in the um uh cage it's not a cage. It's, I like to know. call them the naughty boys. Yeah, the naughty boys. They are the naughty boys. Yeah, but they go in. They go in this um, this cage, and and they're quite happy in, yeah. in there yeah. until we go, and and then they're happy to run around. And um, we've also got what you've got. You you got. I was going to say you've got the same windbreak system that's right that that's we it have, the yeah. jaw mm. and if, if you've not seen our jaw max yeah windbreak, absolutely brilliant. um that mm. is really really yeah. good yeah um on sort of semi semi hard mm. standing yeah and especially good on grass mm. um to to bang those poles in and, yeah yeah and, little, we, well, and the dogs will will go out there they're quite happy i thought I thought it was a bit expensive. Well, I don't think so. Uh, um, we um, the windbreaks come in different mm. sizes. Mm. Uh, it's like, so we bought a three meter, yeah. a four meter, as we did. The the um, the skirt for mm -hmm. against the van yeah, as and we a did. one meter door. Yes, and that was about four hundred and seventy eight. Which quid. I thought was very. I thought it was expensive, but I'm a cheapskate. Mm. Uh, I thought it was expensive. Other people, well, like, like well, yourself, have having, said to me, having it's, got three, it's actually not yeah, bad. Having got no. three Jack Russells and knowing what they're like, mm. Mm. we're quite happy that you know they can pop themselves outside, um, certainly at night, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they can do their pee. business yeah. and come back in, which uh, is what they do. It's all enclosed. No mm. one else is going to get yeah. involved in that. Yeah. That, that is one of the yeah. really big benefits of having yeah. that. Sort of enclosed area, mm. you know, very, very beneficial. I know Wendy yeah. calls it the dog pen, yeah, <laughs> it's actually their windbreaks, mm. but you could, it, they are very good. And I think, I think the Jawmax things mm. are better than some of the others with those extra legs that come out at 45 degrees. Yes, I agree, the real, I agree. The real problem to get mm. up. The only problem with the Jawmax mm. is you need Thor's hammer. To whack those <laughs> poles in. Uh, yeah, I bought I bought a yeah. four pound hammer because I suppose so. I, because I'm short. Yes. Now I know yeah. I know Dave's mm. Dave is a bit stronger. Yeah. A bit stronger, a lot stronger, a lot stronger. and a, and a little bit taller than me. Mm. So his his height against he the pole, bashes them yeah. in. Yeah. Bang bang, and he doesn't need such a big. I've got what I lovingly term Thor's hammer, mm. which is a two, uh, a two kilo yeah. steel lump. Well, <laughs> on, on that's it. David on calls a, it a lump hammer. Yeah, on a stick. Mm. I've got mm. a, a two kilo lump of steel on a yeah. on a stick. Yeah, and it works really well mm. because it, you know because it. The other hammer I used to use, which was a little yeah. um, claw well, hammer, yeah, weirdly, good, right? Yeah. I ruined my shoulder yeah, with absolutely. that because it, it you, took you, so long to, to bang it in. Mm. And I couldn't get the force behind it, but now mm. there's, there's no force needed because of, no. because of gravity. And I think you need to have that lump hammer, you which do. is what David calls you it, do. lump hammer. And that, you know, <laughs> if anyone gets anything, like that, you use a lump hammer. I got mine 
from Screwfix. Hmm. Uh, David got his uh, from um, years ago, and I can't remember. David David borrowed his hmm. from Thor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Thor Just, didn't want it back. He didn't want it back. It was one of his spares. Mm. Happens, yeah. Um, so but I must hasten to add that David is Thor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit like he that. might be Thor's He's dad. Like I don't that. know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he is mm. Extraordinarily strong. Yes. Um, <laughs> but but the 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 whole thing about mm. um, going away in a motorhome. Yeah. And, and let and let's just let's just take. A couple of minutes, mm-hmm. just because we both had caravans. Yeah. We both had, you know, have yes. motor yeah. homes. Uh-huh. What do you see are the are the benefits of moving from a caravan to a motor home? Because I, I know what they are. are. Yeah. Well, the benefits for us are um, certainly when when we're travelling. Mm. The the um, we've always found this though that the um, the motor home is warm you get the warmth in the motorhome so when you you park up <laughs> you've got the warmth there anyway can i answer that mm. here's the thing our motorhome is bloody freezing really no because the fiat ducato if you're in the cold weather you need to do stuff to the fiat ducato cab to shut off the the north wind. Well, then I would say get yourself a um, contiki, swift contiki, because it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let let me tell you. Yeah. I ain't changing. No, no. <laughs> we yours love, is beautiful. We love. It's beautiful. We love, love, love Nikita. Yeah. yeah. And she's she's beautiful, mm. and we love it. And we just need to stop the draft in the cab. Yeah. I, on that, I have um, I have seen that you can buy some blanking plates to block up okay. the. Um, there's two vents apparently mm. that you can block up. Yeah. Can I find them? Oh. If you know where those vents are mm. that I can block up, please. In the comments, describe to me where they are. I don't know. I've looked underneath the van. I've looked all over the cab. The only thing I haven't done mm-hmm. is taken the seats out. They might be under the seats. I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Where are they? Mm. I see pictures of the blanking plates, yeah. of the things, the, the air vents, mm. and not one of the, of, the, of the blogs that I've seen that describe you can warm up your cab by blocking off the air vents. Mm. Describe where they are. But you know, I don't know what I don't what? know where you're you're missing because we we pull up and our 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 camper is like warm. We we've the got the end, wall. The back end is and Oh, all of it, yeah, all of it. But then we've got oh, one of those. Oh, David's yeah. fitted one of those. Um, oh, diesel, a diesel, a diesel heater. Yes. This is something that I'm. David I'm, fits so many I'm, things. I'm, on. I'm really, really mm. considering if we ever, if we ever a think. A heater, if, I think it's called. If we it? ever think about mm. going to cold climate, um, yeah, um, we're currently not. Yeah. But if we ever think about that, I'm going to have one of those diesel heaters yes, fitted. Yes, the Aspatchik. David will fit it for because you. He's, a, he's an absolute gem at he fitting. Is. He is. And he's mm. fit, uh, it's just mm. the amount of heat that comes yeah, out of that. absolutely. And, and mm. it's only av- roughly yeah. a penny an hour yes. to run. It's, it's not... And it's like, it's like mm. a blooming sauna when yeah. you get it going. You can't... Absolutely beautiful. The thing is, and this is what I say, say about these diesel heaters, hmm. and, and they, they heat. bought one from <laughs> he eBay. <laughs> it's, it's a Chinese thing. You know, yeah. It runs he, on these. He does but it all the time. Here's the thing. Yeah. He switched it on, and he said, feel the heat of that. Mm. And when it got, once it got going mm. and blowing the hot air mm. out of the bed, yeah. you can't hold your hand... <laughs> That 
that much away. No. So, you know, th- three inches mm. away, you can't hold your hand there. No, but it does the job. Uh, oh, also, it's, it's like far too hot. Yeah. It's, also, so it's, it's David a, fitted. Like that, yeah. David fitted our um, uh, sky. We got a sky dish. He fits all these sorts of oh, things, so yeah. it makes it like home, yeah. and that's what I like about yeah. the, having the motor home yeah. because everything is there. Ev- you know, he, he's done it so that that we've got. Um, not just a motorhome, we've got the heat. He's now fitted the um, uh, air con. Oh, yeah. Fitted an yeah. air con yeah. to it. Brilliant. And he's, he's fitted the um, solar panels. Yeah. Uh, so we've got solar panels so that we can go... And extra um, batteries. Yeah, and extra batteries so that we can, if we want to, we can go... Um, anywhere for anywhere, yeah, right. anywhere. And that's the thing. You, you're you're mm. just it, like a home from home. Yeah. And I think it's very different from a caravan. And I, yes, that's that's the difference between the caravan and the motorhome because I think we've that because of all these things is attached to it. Mm. I don't think we could really comfortably fit all that to a caravan. I don't think it would work. No. Much the same no. as it does for, no. for our... No. Hmm. Weirdly, motorhoming is different to caravanning. Yeah, absolutely. But so much the same. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. And, and, that's, and that's the great thing about what we do. Yeah. In travelling, mm. having, having a great time while yeah. we're out there yeah. and seeing different things. Yeah. For me, motorhoming and full timing mm. is really about having the world almost as my garden. Absolutely. I, I love yeah. that. Yeah. So Yeah. And and we have yeah. had the world as our garden, mm. but you know, we as we're getting older and yeah. David is yeah. seventy one next year. Yep. I'm sixty eight next year. So it does make a lot of difference. And you know, with with health problems as well. Um I mean, we're quite happy to to go off and and mm. spend a long time abroad, or or even yeah. in this country. You so, know, we can do that. So, um, let's just let's just say now you've got a Swift Contiki. Yes. How old is it? Uh, two thousand four. So it doesn't need to be a brand new thing. No. For you to really no. get out there and enjoy yourself. Mm. Get yourself out there in a motorhome yeah. or a caravan if that's you your don't, fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't need really, to have a really new updated enjoy. one. Yeah. You don't. You don't need that. So that's it. Mm. Um, that's a little interview from us yeah. today. And we, let say, me just hasten to add that we do like to have our our own space and for for mm. for safety, whether it is safety or just the way we feel just, just to have feeling. security yeah. in in our home here and you know we we've got um, a home here um and it's lovely when steve and wendy come to stay with us and i know that if anything ever did happen you know mm. we could yeah yeah so that's it from us today cheers cheers <laughs> I would say cheers, mm. but my glass is propping up the camera. Yeah. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> and if you want to follow our journey as we live full time in our motorhome and travel around the UK and Europe, why not subscribe? And if you want to get reminders so that you don't miss any of our content, click that bell icon next to the subscribe button yeah that's it and we're going to see and you don't forget tomorrow about, don't forget about let me just <laughs> let me just say this <laughs> let me just say this don't forget about the happy gardening guide oh <laughs> name drop name drop <laughs> happy gardening guide <laughs> <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video <laughs> you will enjoy 
the happy, ha- happy, happy gardening guide. The happy guide. gardening yeah. guide that Jill runs. Yeah. Pop on Brilliant. over and have a look. Yeah. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.